Hello beautiful Leos, welcome to Divine Empowerment. My name is Joanne and I have got an awesome reading for you guys today. Yay! Um, all right Leos, and this is your birthday month, so make sure you make all your birthday wishes, right? This is the most powerful time of the year for you guys to make those big wishes. Okay, starting off, I get the Ten of Shields here. Oh, just powerful energy, right? This overwhelming sense of success, accomplishment, fulfillment. It's really got you guys kind of, you know, tingling and feeling energized. Early this week, I mean, Queen of Shields, a lot of um, connections coming into play here. People that maybe you haven't heard from in a while, family members, um, old lovers, old friends, a lot of people are wanting to connect with you at this time. And then I get two of, two of cauldrons. Now, of course, if you're on a twin flame journey, you're wanting union, right? And you're wanting union now. <laughs> so take that queen of shields and this two of cauldrons and call it in Leo's. Claim it. It is so, right? Now, if you're not in a twin flame journey, this two of cauldrons is definitely saying that there's going to be a lot of harmony within your relationships. And it's not just love relationships. It's all your relationships. It's like suddenly everyone's going to want to reach out, connect to you, and in a harmonic way, which is actually going to make you guys feel really fabulous, right? You're going to feel like this chariot energy comes in and it just magically, suddenly you feel the special Leoness of yourself. And then this four of shields. Yes, I mean, sorry. <laughs> four of swords. You know, there's this point when it's going to happen sometime midweek, Leos, where you're just suddenly going to receive all this special attention, right? You're going to feel like you're floating on cloud nine here. And whenever you reach that cloud nine point, all right, suddenly this five of wands comes in and it is kind of like this transformational where suddenly you're having to change your plans, take new actions or take actions that are slightly outside your comfort zone. So it is kind of a abrupt <laughs> point for you guys. <laughs> Suddenly you're on cloud nine and the next thing you know, there's a little bit of conflict going on with plans and actions and meetings and things of that nature. Just a little bit of like, no, I want to do it my way and no, I want to do it my way. And so there is kind of like this little bit of tug and pull energy going on. And then I get the elemental of earth. This earth energy is actually going to be, it's going to compound that conflict. It's really going to make it um, somewhat dense and almost as if it's not going to work itself out, right? And it could also involve a earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, some sort of, you know, conflict or this tuggy tuggy pulley energy going on between the two of you. But then I get the Lilith. Yes. <laughs> Card. Everything is going to work out. You know, and when you get to this, when you get your way, Leos, what's going to happen is it's going to be followed by this five of fire energy. So you might I have a tendency to get a little bit arrogant here. As you can see, he's sitting on his throne and <laughs> he's the king or king, queen, whichever you are. So it is kind of like this, you, you get this moment of just bliss, goldenness, everything's awesome. And then it suddenly shifts to a five energy <laughs> where it's, uh, you know, there's a little bit of tension here. So definitely spirit saying, do not stay here. You know, don't get on your high horse. Don't, you know, say, oh, well, I won. <laughs> it's my way. <laughs> Energy. Because what's going to happen is it's really going to send you for a spin here. It's really going to make you think, well, eh, is it really worth 
you know, winning. Sometimes we win when we lose, Leos. There is gonna, this is gonna bring out a shadow side of you. I get the Book of Shadows. It's gonna have kind of a dark night of the soul feeling, like you might be victorious, but did you really win? Mm. You'll kind of feel this way, and it is this full moon energy coming in <laughs> to remind you to do your shadow work, right? To not, you know, sometimes, like I said, sometimes losing, you're actually winning. So it's definitely something that you may want to think about, especially when you find yourself in that situation. Now, to, at, towards the weekend, on the weekend, awesome, I get the lover's card. So some romance coming your way this weekend, Leos. Um, and it's going to be tenderness, fun, lighthearted romance, a lot of... Um, and, you know, it may not just be the two of you, okay, here, because it's followed by this Ten of Pentacles. But it is about this lighthearted, fun energy that's definitely going to set you forward into this next moon cycle. It's going to help you really put things into perspective here. I get the Seven of Swords. <laughs> you know, it is time to organize this weekend, Leos. So take some time. Organize your files, pay your bills, at least spend a few hours just trying to, you know, get everything organized and laid out. This is going to help you with that full moon energy. It's also going to help you with that book of shadows, that shadow self energy. And then I get the ten of chalices, <laughs> which is all about marriage and higher commitments and relationships. But for you guys this week, this weekend, you're definitely, if you're not already married, you're going to have fantasies. You're going to have daydreams about weddings or your partner is going to be thinking about weddings, fantasizing about weddings, daydreaming about weddings. And if someone asks the question, you may want to prepare yourself if you get proposed to this weekend, uh, <laughs> that you are a little bit surprised, right? Obviously, it might even completely blindside you to like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so ask, take, take some time this, this week, Leos, and ask yourself, are you ready to get married? Um, and if you're happily married, there'll be a lot of reminiscing going on this weekend, a lot of rekindled romance there as well. And then I get the Eight of Wands. Woo! By the end of the weekend, you know, this shadow work is going to hit you guys. And it's really going to either make you question everything and doubt everything, or it's going to spin you into hyper mode, getting the work done, getting the shadow work done, doing your transformation work, <laughs> because you want to move forward out of that energy. It is kind of like a little bit of a tornado, so make sure you take some Time to organize here, prepare yourself for the following week. And like I said, that's really going to help you guys with that shadow self. It's going to be popping up intermittently. It's not going to be just one time, one shadow. No, it's going to be intermittently all week. Now, I have pulled some cards for, oh my gosh, <laughs> I just looked at these cards. I pulled some Cosmo guidance cards from the universe. The first one is shine, shining your, your light, shining your beauty, shining your wisdom, shining yourself into the reality, right? Shine, Leo, shine. See, it's a large peacock looking design. And then you can see the light coming from the front out so you are, you're going to get a lot of attention and, you, and you're just, it's just going to make your light brighter and brighter and brighter. And then I get the shadow self. It's going to show you your shadow self, where it is that um, you need to do some transformation work here. Awesome. Now, um, for my soul realignment clients, if you are not familiar already I am a soul realignment advanced practitioner and if you're interested in that service I will link the information below 
Currently, the first session, Soul Realignment Level 1, is on special, 75% off for 11111. Awesome! <laughs> now, that particular work, it comes with a full sew profile, which is probably some of the most awesome information that you can ever learn about yourself, as well as an extensive clearing in the Akashic Records. Um, we clear blocks, restrictions, anything that, if you're not experiencing all of this manifestation stuff, um, you may have some energetic blocks and restrictions that are preventing you from experience this, experiencing this. <laughs> now this work is very empowering, um, very liberating, and most clients say it just makes them feel so free, blissful. Now I have completed over 5,000 sessions, awesome. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, please send me an email. Now for my soul realignment clients, Yay, drum roll. Um, I have released the Epic Alignment, which is off the charts. Ah, oh, those sessions, the results have been just amazing. In this particular session, we do two types of clearings from the physical and from the higher self in the Akashic Records. We do a multi-generational past life clearing. <laughs> we also look at your energy deficits, your karmic deficits your karmic debt and your karmic credit. It comes with three Merkaba activations. It is awesome. And temporarily, it will be on special for 50% off, and that's $222.22. And it'll the special will last until the end of August, so September 1st. <laughs> but let me tell you what, it took me nine months to give birth to this epic alignment and it is epic <laughs> i am just so excited and thrilled and honored to be able to offer this work to my soul realignment clients blessings into infinity <laughs> my clicker never wants to work ah.